What we're gonna do is, who are we talking about? And who is this for? Pilar. Yes, Pilar and the bat, his brother, BJ Bat. Now, they wanted to say the earth was made of rock. Well, technically that's kind of a generalization. What does a generalization mean, buddy? Kind of means, encompasses everything. When it's more, gotta be more, what was our word of the day for school? Pre- Precise. Yeah, a little bit more precise. So there's some more. Um, basically intelligence that goes into it. So the first thing is, is like, how are the continents made? Hmm? And they're called the tectonic plates, right? Now, pretty much what happens, take that Oreo, Robin. Okay. Now look at this here, right? This one is the top there. Okay. So now put that on there top. Let it go. Okay. Now we know we always count to get the perfect Oreo and I, what's mine is 8.5, his is 6.5, right? Where we go, we're about 10,000, 11,000. Now you see it bubbling. That would be air escaping. And what's happening is it's becoming more saturated. And this happens at the center of Earth's core. Okay, while that's doing it, these are the layers of Earth, okay? This is a solid iron core. This is a molten lava rock core that's consistently moving around this. This is the heaviest. By what I mean by heaviest is, if you had two cookies like this, right? It. That one weighed as much as a bowling ball. Guys, that one it. weighed as much as a marble. Guys, this has a higher molecular weight. Even, this has a lower molecular weight. But they're the same size. They're I atoms. I know you can't lift it. It's that heavy. It's the iron core of the earth. So this is the molten lava lava place. Okay, stop, buddy. Don't do that. Why is this so hard for me to lift? Okay, because there's a lot of water in there. So now what happens is, easy. as this spins around and moves, the pressure, and it's only liquid because all of the pressure that's crushing the rock, hold on, don't do it, you will, is coming to here. And this is a level of stone. This is the rock you're implying, Whoa. Pilar. Okay, that the earth's made of rock. You just never got all the way down. And on the outside would be the oceans. In some places, right, the land might come above the ocean. In some places, the ocean's above the land. In some places, you know, the ocean comes out like this and you got a big mountain sticking out, which would actually be a volcano, which we're going to talk about. Okay, is it because it just passed the line of sea level? Okay, so now take your flower, Robin. This? Okay, yeah, but before we do that, I'm going to show them this. This is what the earth looked like before it became the earth. Now, what happens when you rub a balloon on Robin's head is it creates friction energy and it'll stick to pretty much anything, right? Yes. Okay, that friction energy is electrical magnetic pulse, right? So now, at, at time, after all these things are moving around and they're touching each other, they're creating that friction, like when you drag your feet on the carpet or whatever and you get a shock, until eventually... The heaviest parts, like the iron in the center of the core of the earth, come together to create that circle. That circle is our yellow circle. Now, all the other stuff that was sprinkled around, right, is not going to be as heavy. It's still going to come down, and that's why the earth is symmetrical, because space pulls at the same rate on every side. Now, let's check our cookie, right? It's not as saturated yet. The bottom's melted away. But the top still got a little while to go. And it looks like it's almost about to go. Robin, I want you to watch it. Right before that sucker dives down, I need you to tell me, okay? Over here is basically our volcano, okay? Volcano is how the heat and the pressure from this explode. There might be something like a straw that comes out of here, buddy, right? And that straw would go up in a mountain. If it goes past that, it would be like an island like Hawaii or Mount St. Helens in Washington. Or Pompeii, and then probably the most famous volcano explosion that took a lot of people in Italy a long time ago. Long time so ago. now, as the heat of the red magma gets it, this rock starts getting softer and softer and softer. Oh, okay? sink. And eventually, it it's breaks sinking. up and it sinks because it melts. You broke okay? it. Now watch. It's going to start going down, break in pieces, and eventually be gone. Now, it went down into the magma, and the magma gets stirred up like this, okay? So now let's take this, and let's put it in here. Look at Here's our liquid magma, buddy, okay? And because it's spinning it. away from the core, right? 
doing? I don't know. Because it's spinning away from the core, you see it goes to the outside. Now, what happens when something's hot and then it goes further away from the source of heat? Just like cheese in your refrigerator after it's on the, the fire gets hard, so does the Oreo as it comes up from the other side. Okay? It eventually gets far enough away from the center where it gets hard again. Okay? And that happens in the middle of the ocean. It happens in the center of what, Robin? Pacific and Atlantic. Now, what two cities get further away by three feet every London year? London and New York. Yes. And why? Because go like this with your hands. Go like this. Go like this, buddy. Yo! Go like this. Okay? This is the volcano coming underneath. Come here. No, keep them straight up. Keep them straight up. It's going to come up, right? Through here and cool, just like our Oreo, and it's going to become up here. Okay? And more is going to keep coming up, and it's going to keep pushing them further and further apart. So, and, long okay? time ago, it was like this, and now it's like... Yep, every year it gets three feet further, okay? But what's on the opposite side of the Atlantic? What ocean's on the opposite side of the Atlantic? Largest ocean in the world. Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh, river. the river. Yeah, that's... Pacific. Yeah, the Pacific Ocean, right? That's the largest ocean in the world, mm -hmm. okay? And Hawaii, this is Hawaii, is right in the middle of it, Okay. Now, what is, what's the deepest ocean in the world? Um, the Atlantic. No, because the Atlantic's got stuff coming up into it. It would be the... You just said it. Pacific. Yes, Pacific. the Pacific. Pacific. It's, it's called the Marianas Trench. It's nine and a half miles down. But it's nine and a half miles down. Now go like this with your hand. Opposite, right? So as the land hits here and gets so deep, it's, it gets warm and that's where it goes and dissipates it into the water. And as it moves, it eventually gets away or it comes out of something like, there, you can pour this in there. Okay, pour this in there carefully, right? And when the heat and pressure get too much, we get a volcano. Wait, where'd you put in there? <laughs> it's a secret, okay? Now that volcano, right? is when this thing What's cannot control, when this heat, it gets a crack. What'd you put in there? Okay, don't worry, I'll let you know later. Sure. Okay, so these are the four parts of Earth and that's exactly how Earth works. It's how wow. it began, was all the little parts eventually bounced around, grabbed the other parts until East? it was a circle and together. And the hardest and the, and the most dense, right? No matter how big the size is, right? Let's get another Oreo, because I want some more. No matter how big the size is, they're both the same size. If this is lead right here, it's 10 times harder than everything else on the planet. Lead is the most uh, molecularly heavy, right? Molecular means at the same molecule size, it means the heaviest of all the elements. And those are the building blocks of all things on Earth. That's everything accounted for that creates anything on Earth. Okay, and the oceans on the outside are 63%. You know, this doesn't really say how deep they really are and are actually the largest part of the Earth. So, Pilar, you said that the Earth is made of rock. Well, it's made of several things, but it is the majority H2O. Hydrogen, two molecules, oxygen, one. H2O. And together, those molecules create water. Okay, so the Earth is basically made of water. Ninja's Dante. Okay. Dante. Ninja's Dante. I'm getting this cookie. Oh, it went to the Atlantic. Nope, I got it back. Mm. So that is how the Earth actually works. It comes in here. Take the camera, buddy. Okay. Don't cover it. Right? What do you mean? So basically, it's like this. Now, what happens, right? When it goes down into the Pacific, the deepest part, well, the magma's there, the red part, the lava, no, me, the lava, right? And it goes like this, and then it comes out the other side of the globe. You gotta keep it on here, buddy. It goes like this, it comes in, and it goes out the other side of the globe, okay? You can't turn it. Robin, you have to keep it straight up, okay? It comes out the other side, which is what's pushing New York and uh, London away. And that's how the continents have moved. And the continents have actually all been one piece three times, okay? The most famous of them is called Pangea. And that's why Africa looks like it fits in between South America and Florida and like 
everything kind of fits like one because they're breaking apart at the Atlantic, pushing the weather. Stop doing that because the video is screwed now. You can't do that, buddy. Okay. Okay. Right? So we know that when we have rock and it goes down as low as it can, right? Eventually, all the air and stuff will come out of it, then it will disappear and it'll melt. Can I put but it'll come. On there? No, but it'll, what are you doing? You have the camera, the cameraman. Right? You're not even looking at what we're doing. And that cookie would come out the other side, and even though it's mushy and in pieces, would eventually get cold and become a solid cookie again. Okay? And that's basically how the tectonic plates work. But now what happens when we have two plates like this moving toward going down or if a volcano comes up and pushes them apart? Well, this is where mountains come in, okay? Two tectonic plates are pushing. Look at it, me, buddy, right, right? And they're pushing. When they push together, they push mountains up. Okay, or they simply pass, like in California where there's earthquakes, where they begin to go down like this. Magma. Come on, man, you're not even looking. You're saying. Okay, you look like a goof on YouTube. Come here. Like this, one goes underneath as the other one goes up. And that's called a fault line when they hit. Okay, and in California, if these rub together, <laughs> that would be an earthquake. Okay, if it happens in the ocean, <laughs> underneath, it opens up, it creates a huge swell, and a tsunami. A tsunami? A tsunami wave is a 100 foot wave that destroys yes, everything. I know, I know. Okay, but yeah, tsunami is an earthquake underneath the sea. So I hope this explained a little bit more about how God is love and God is in control of everything and believe what you want to believe. Call God who you want to call God. Magma. And just make sure that it's okay to know science and how things work, but it's never okay to push your beliefs as the only way things work because you this should is, always keep an open this mind. This happens every day. Um, the magma spins around the... Yep. And what happens? It clumps up and it moves away from the center. And, it, and then and and it becomes and then the rock. Like, yep. And eventually it comes out here into the rock. Okay? And that's what it is. And because this gravity is so much, it holds so much pressure and that's why this is liquid magma. But it's far enough from the center, right? And that it's, it eventually cools into rock. That would be this. And then that rock could be under the ocean or it could be over the ocean like a continent. And that's how basically the, the earth, what it's composed of and what it's made. So it's not just rock, buddy. All right? Say goodbye, dude. Goodbye. Now clean this all up right now.